Welcome back. Uh, this is Center again. Uh, welcome to Casa de Center. Uh, this is part three of the Thermal Take Water 2.0 Pro installation. Uh, as you can see, I finally got the whole system up and running. Um, and I was able to finally get that retention plate on after inventing some new curse words and uh, resisting the urge to get a Dremel tool out and make it fit but I was able to get it to fit without resorting to mass modifications. Uh, our previous temperatures, let's see here, our previous temps, the system usually ran roughly about 53C. Uh, this, what this is now installed, we're seeing some lower temps. Um, it's not nearly as dramatic as I would have hoped. Um, Core Zero is running anywhere from 46C to 51C. Uh, core One and Core Two appear to be pretty steady at 40 to 41, and Core Two at anywhere from 47 to 51, and uh, Core Three at 46. Let's go ahead and run Future Mark. I've got uh, the temperatures running on the G19 here, so I can monitor that. And we'll go ahead and start future mark and we'll see what the temps do during that. As soon as I find future mark. The one thing that I will say is that it is insanely quiet. When they say that it's quiet and tranquil, they're not joking. Um, it really is quiet. It's pretty much damn near silent. All right, so we'll monitor the temps here and see what it does. future mark makes me wait. So as expected, we're seeing a little bit of a jump in the temps, nothing drastic. Um, usually running it in the past on um, on future mark, I would see my temps run as high as anything from 65C, sometimes all the way up to 70C, depending on, uh, you know, the uh, ambient temperature of the room, things like that. Um so, so far this is running pretty good at the lower temps uh, that we're seeing. So far we haven't broken 54C on any of the cores at all, and I'm only seeing one core going up that high. That's 
definitely an improvement. But we'll see what happens when it decides to really kick in here. Still not breaking a sweat. Uh, this is a more taxing video that they're running and nothing is breaking 55C and that's only happening on one core uh, and only periodically. So far so good. These temperatures are rather dramatically lower than what I'm used to running Future Mark. Um, we'll see how far we get when we see a CPU test. Graphics test is running the system very cool. I'm not seeing anything major. <clears throat> We're on graphics test three, just finishing it up.
and impressively we're just not breaking a sweat. This should give us a little bit more of a test. We're going back over to the physics test, which should test the CPU a little bit harder. And it's still just keeping even at under 55C. Now we're coming on to the combined test. This should really tell us something here because this is going to tax the CPU and GPU at the same time. Unless, of course, future more crashes, which it's done in the past. And impressively, we're still seeing the same temps. I'm not seeing any spike. On the, uh, the old tech cooler that I was running, this would run it up to about 65C easily. but we're sitting pretty at 53. So Future Mark 11, we ran it through its paces and Future Mark 11 just didn't even make a dent in our temps. So last but not least, let's go ahead and give it some real world uh, application and see what the temperatures look like in actually running a game. <clears throat> I am in the Firefall beta, so I'll go ahead and start up Firefall. It seems to be pretty taxing on, on temperatures. Um, in the past, I've seen it hit as high as 70C. Uh, let's see what it will do now. Well, it appears I need to patch, so I will come back for part four, and uh, we'll see you then.